Hey space fans, Tarek Malik, uh, a, spa a managing editor of space.com here at the Intrepid Space Museum in New York with Dr. Peggy Whitson, a uh, veteran NASA astronaut, record holding yeah. NASA astronaut. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, Dr. Whitson, for being available. One of the standout moments uh, recently for space flight has been not one or two, I think like three or four records <laughs> you set <laughs> on uh, one of your last flights, 665 days, cumulative, uh, the, the most days in space by an American ever? When you're up in space thinking about that, I mean, or, or, does that even set in or is it just the, the work as usual? Well, it's mostly just work as usual, but I think what the, the records represent is good for NASA. You know, it's not my record, it's NASA's record because without them, I wouldn't be there. So, and it's the whole team together that makes the records possible. How did you become an astronaut? Is that something that, you know, you're, you're, you're growing up as a, uh, yeah. I guess little Peggy Whitson that you decide I want to be an astronaut or? Uh... Oh, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> I was nine when I watched Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon. And oh. I think nine is actually a very pivotal age in young people. And it's one of the ages I really enjoy talking to because I think they're very receptive and open to ideas and inspiration. And I took something away from it. And uh, when I graduated from high school, they selected the first female astronauts. And so I think that's when it became not just a dream, but a goal. It wow. became something that I wanted to try and do. So along with Sally Ride, there were uh, some medical doctors, uh, Dr. Ellen Baker and uh, Dr. Shannon Lucid, a biochemist. Mm -hmm. the, you know, these were the ladies that made it seem possible and real for me to become an astronaut. Does it still surprise after three long duration flights on the space station? Or? Well, uh, you know, there's always kind of these aha moments where you're like, oh wow, this is really, really, you know, extra special. Um, during one of the spacewalks on this last mission, uh, we were, uh, Shane Kimbrough and I were changing out adapter plates, putting adapter plates and taking out old batteries and putting in adapter plates. And the pallet is this really shiny, shiny surface. So it's like a mirror. And so you see yourself <laughs> with the earth in the background and the solar arrays behind you. And you're just like, I'm really an astronaut. <laughs> this is so cool. One of the, the next couple goals for uh, the, the astronaut corps, the, the country overall, is yeah. to return to the moon, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully onto Mars and, and, and onto other deep space uh, destinations. I'm just curious. Uh, First of all, would you want to go? Absolutely. What's next? What's in next for Dr. Whitson in space? I'd, I'd be happy to go. <laughs> yeah. What would advice would you give to students now to kind of get ready for? Well, the most important thing is find your passion, and that can be any field of science, math, engineering. Uh, if you want to become an astronaut, there we have astronauts with military background. It can be anything, and the. Uh, scientists can be any type of scientist, so any of them will be applicable in the future of uh, space flight and in the future of exploration. And we need all of these young people out there today studying all those fields and, you know, coming up with some really new and creative solutions um, to get us there even faster. Do you, do you plan to go up again? Uh, what, what is, I guess, what is next? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Well, that's wonderful. I think the rest of us all, uh, you know, plan for that too. But Dr. Wilson, thank you so much. I could, yeah, I could ask problem. you questions all night long, uh, all day long, but uh, uh, I know that there's other things uh, that, that, that are coming up, exciting things on Earth and in space. So, uh, right. so thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Yep. Um, and we'll see you next time in space. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.